here is the description for the task that we're going to try to devise a plan for and how I understand it is as follows that we are on an internship at a telecom company and we have been asked to do a technical proof of concept. A technical proof of concept can be seen as just a try to see if something works and in this case it's going to display five calls and I interpret it as it's the next five calls to be routed. And then here comes some information. That, that was just some context. And here comes the important part, the last part of, of the description here. The calls are all stored in a list and each element in the list consists of a tuple storing the caller's name and the recipient's name. So here we get some information about what we need. We need to create a list that stores tuples. The tuples will have the caller's names and the recipient's names. So that is something that we must take with us when we're devising our plan. It also says that we shall manually fill the list with 10 tuples. All right, so we know that we need to create this list and add 10 tuples just so we have some data to try it with. And what it says after that is that this list will be sent as an argument to a function that uses list slicing to display the five elements. So I'm, I'm going to mark argument to a function. And I think I marked this bit here. So I know that it's all right, we're going to use list slicing and we're going to display the five elements. So here is what we need to do. And I will try to devise a flowchart for this. And my thinking is that I'm going to have a main function where I first create the list, then I add the calls, the, the 10 calls that we should store as tuples. And then after that, I'm going to call another function. But I'm going to start with adding the main function. So we can see here what I did was I created the main function then when we are in the main function we're going to create the list we're going to populate it with 10 calls and after that we're going to call this new function that we haven't devised yet but we're going to call this and we're going to send in the calls and hopefully that one is going to print print the first five of them so let's try to to come up with a flowchart for that function that I call tpark display next, which is to display the next five calls to be routed. And how I see it is that we must first display some information so that we know wh what it is that we, we are displaying. So some form of header for the information that we're gonna display. And after that, we're gonna have a loop that prints five calls, the first five calls. And after that, we are done with that function. So I will try to add that in a flowchart here and we can see how it looks. And there we go. As we can see here in this function, what we do is that we display the header so we know what information we're gonna print. Then after that, as long as we have not displayed five calls, we will display the next call. So as long as displayed is less than five calls, then we display a new one and we continue here. And when we have displayed five, we just returned and we are finished. So here is my plan for how to solve this task and how we write the code 
We will see that in the implementation video.